Hello, hello, my beautiful people. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending where you're watching from. This is Annie Cord channel on YouTube and also Annie Cord page on Facebook. We are always streaming from New Zealand. So today I want to talk about why talking about your ex if you know you are not interested in your ex. Why are you always talking about him or her? You know something made you to separate from your ex. But you cannot take your mind or your life out of your ex. You always watching what he's doing or what she's doing. You are always concerned. You are always wanting to know what is happening around your ex. Why will you do that? You are doing that because you still love the person. Because you still have interest in that person. That is why you are still monitoring the person. Because if you don't love that person or you don't have interest, why you keep talking about the person? Why? If you have been separated from your ex, you have a reason. You have a reason why you separated from your ex. So for you to still be monitoring your ex, be watching what he's doing, it shows you are still interested in that person. First and foremost, even if you used $20,000 to dash me to go back, you know, go up. I said what I said. Some of you are trying to make it seem as if, no, I'm now dead. Am I dead? Do you think I'm going to go back to abuse? Do I look dead to you? If you try to paint that nonsense image of, oh my God, look, look at how she's suffering now. She's crying. Thousand dollars, you will not go back to him. That shows you still have love for him. Because if you don't have love for that person, you won't talk about the person. You will go about your business. You will go about your life. You won't even care whether the person existed because you know why you left the person. So for you to always come in to talk about the person shows that you still love the person. Shows that you are still interested in that person. Even Justin Dean too. He always come out. Oh, I'm not going back to Cora. I won't go back to Cora. Both of you still love each other, my dear. Why not try to make peace and save those innocent children? Why not make peace and save those children? The point is, you have already put planted something there between both of you. And that thing you have planted is the children. Those two children there will continue to remain with you forever. We, we continue to remain with both of you forever. So that means you cannot separate yourself. You can be separated physically, but you cannot separate yourself spiritually because something is binding you together. Something is binding you together. It's really sad to see somebody you once love, you once cherish, you once gave your whole body to, suddenly becomes your enemy. It's painful, I know. But if you want to be separated from somebody you call your ex, you must be separated from that person completely. Because for Cora, like I said, it's hard. All the time she goes to drop the kids. She goes to take the kids. The more you are going there to drop the kids, to pick up the kids, you are seeing your lover. You and when you see that person, it keeps reminding you of all the love you had together. It reminds you of all the love you once had together. No matter how you try to pretend, my dear, it will keep coming. That's why sometimes she's moody. Sometimes she's happy. Sometimes you discover that each time she goes to drop the kids or she goes to pick the kids up, she's kind of sad and moody. This is the reason because she keeps remembering all the good times they had together and now she sees how everything has crumbled. It's hard. It's painful. But, I mean, my topic is if you know you have disengaged from your ex, stop talking about them. Move on. Move on. That is the topic for today. The more you keep 
talking bad on your ex or still talking things about your ex is like the woman with the salt who look back. You have already moved and then God say, don't look back. And you look back. And what happened to the woman? She become a pillar of salt. So please, don't become a pillar of salt. If you have forgotten about your ex, move, 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 move forward. Stop coming to remind us that, oh, even if they give me $20,000, I won't go back to my ex. Who asks you? Who asks you? You are invariably telling us that you still love him. That is why you're talking about him. So please, let's learn how to be honest in whatever we are doing. I'll end this video here and I'll see you all in my next one. Bye.